Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Erica. And if you are not new, welcome back. It's so good to have you back. I'm really excited for today's video. I get a lot of questions on how I balance my running, my lifting, what I eat, do I eat more on specific days? So I figured I would take you guys through a day of running and a day of weightlifting this week. Today's Thursday, I had an interval run. I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. That's why I'm literally still in my matching PJs and I have my cup of decaf coffee with me but we are gonna go make some breakfast before my run this morning i think i have a seven or an eight kilometer interval run so i'll walk you guys through what that looks like show you how i prepare for it show you what i'm eating before after throughout the day and then tomorrow i'll show you guys what a full weightlifting session looks like what i eat on those days and just kind of explain my approach right now with my training and my nutrition so without further ado let's get into the video So I pretty much always make oatmeal before I go on a run just because it's high carb and it doesn't bother my stomach. Sometimes if I eat like eggs or sausages, I just feel it when I'm running. So simple carbs with some peanut butter, some fruit you guys will see. That is the go-to breakfast pre-run. About that much and we'll put some water in it and microwave it. And other ingredients, we will grab cinnamon, salt, some coconut, and a tiny bit of protein. And then whenever my bananas get too ripe, I just freeze them. So I put some frozen banana on my oats pretty often, just more carbohydrates, also a good source of potassium. We're just gonna start with a little bit of protein, literally less than 10 grams. And this is the flavor I'm using today. It is the pumpkin pie from PE Science. I don't know if there's still this flavor on the website, but any PE Science protein is amazing for blending into oats. And if you guys wanna use code Erica, it'll save you some money. Then we go in with quite a bit of cinnamon because I am a cinnamon addict. Then salt, important for electrolytes, and some stevia. And we will stir this up. Sometimes if it's too thick, I will add a splash of almond milk. This looks pretty good. I do like my oats a little thicker. I forgot to mention one ingredient, which is natural peanut butter. I love natural peanut butter. You guys, you don't need all the artificial shit in your peanut butter. All you need is peanuts and salt. That's what she's looking like. Then I just defrosted one of these little banana chunks. So I'm just gonna throw it in here. It's still like kind of frozen, which I like mixed with like the hot oats. I know it kind of looks gross, but trust me, it's good. And we're gonna finish with shredded coconut, which is my current obsession. It's really good for healthy fats. And there we have our pre-run meal. So very carb heavy, also got some fats in there too. So super excited to eat this, it's delish. Again, give this a try, let me know what you guys think. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll typically give myself 30, minimum 30 minutes closer to like 45 minutes probably to digest before I actually go on my run. So what I do before a run is I always make my little hydration beverage and I take all of my daily supplements. So I'm gonna do some aminos. These don't do anything crazy. Honestly, they're just more so for me for flavor. Then I do some creatine and a scoop of electrolytes as well. And then we take our multivitamin, our hair and nail vitamin, and our omegas. Take my hydro jug. By the way, if you don't have a hydro jug, traveler, you need one. And you can use code Erica if you wanna save some money. You can also use code Erica if you want to buy anything from PE Science. It does save you some cash. We're gonna do one scoop of creatine. I take creatine every day, even on non-training days. And then one scoop of, or I do like half a scoop of electrolytes. Just because when you're running, you are sweating and you wanna make sure you're replenishing that sodium. So we'll fill this up and then we'll take my vitamins. All right, we are locked and loaded. I've got my water, I've got my sunnies my running glasses <laughs> that I love. We're gonna go and do a seven kilometer interval run, speed run, tempo run, whatever you wanna call it. Two kilometer easy warm up, two two kilometer repeats at a slightly faster pace. So that's four kilometers total. And then a one kilometer cool down. So that equals altogether 7K. So let's go. 
first two kilometers warm up, feeling good. We're gonna hit our interval soon. We're about halfway through my first interval. So I'm at one kilometer out of two kilometers. Feeling good. All right, just finished the first two kilometer interval. And now we have a two minute break before my next two minute interval. All right, we're on the last kilometer of my intervals. And then we have our cool down. All right, we're on our last cool down kilometer. Feeling good. Kind of have to pee, but we'll be okay. Feeling really good. This pace is so comfortable. You want your easy paces to be a pace where you can actually have a full conversation without like gasping for air every time. All right, and we finished our run. I feel really good. My ankles feel a little bit stiff today. So I think that means my calves are probably a bit tight. So I'm gonna foam roll them this week, make sure we're all recovered for our 10K on Tuesday. All right, we are back from our run. It went really well. I documented it for you guys, as you saw. And now we're gonna walk through my everyday post-workout shake. If you've watched any of my videos, this may seem very redundant, but I wanted to share everything that I eat and all the training that I do in this video. So let's quickly make my go-to post-workout shake. We've got our smoothie made. I'm gonna drink this, but I wanted to talk a little bit about my training right now and just how I approach nutrition and training with my hybrid style of training that I'm doing. So my main two forms of movement are weight training and running. And right now I'm training for a 10 kilometer race. And I'm also training three days a week in the gym, full body sessions with the focus of building strength, building size. And so in order to have both of those goals of being able to run 10 kilometers easily and still being able to build strength and develop tissue and maintain my muscle mass, you have to eat. So my approach to nutrition right now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you would know that I eat intuitively, which just means I eat when I'm hungry, I stop when I'm full. However, I will say sometimes I'm not as hungry as I know I need to be in order to fuel my body to perform in the way that I want to perform. And so because I tracked macros for so many years, I'm a coach, I understand what my body needs in order to thrive and function at the amount of physical exertion that I am putting on my body week to week. Some days I eat more informed than I do intuitive. And by that, I just mean some days physically I'm not as hungry, but I will still push food because I know that that's what my body needs in order to succeed and continue to improve towards the goals that I've set for myself. One question that I get asked a ton is if I eat less on days that I'm not training versus my training days. The answer to that is no. Obviously I'm not tracking my macros, so I'm not tracking everything and counting all my calories every day but I do feel like I have a pretty good awareness around food and what's in my food how many calories approximately I'm eating day to day and I will say I definitely eat about the same on my training days that I do on my recovery days and sometimes on my recovery days I actually eat more just because I have a little bit more time to do so and I notice that I'm typically hungrier on my recovery days because my body is trying to use that energy to repair and recover and get fresh again for my next session. So I do still eat a pretty high protein diet. I'm trying my best right now to bump up my carbs and my fats just because I tracked my macros for a couple days last week for my coach he just asked me to so we could have an idea of where my calories were at and we noticed that i tend to eat very high protein which isn't necessarily a bad thing my digestion is still great and i'm able to perform and recover really well but i know my body would fe probably feel a little bit better with slightly more carbs and fat so that's what we're doing i'm just trying to moderate that a little bit with my diet right now but i still do aim for a pretty high protein diet so that i can maintain my muscle mass while i do you know increase my cardiovascular capacity and my miles week to week. So I showed you guys this morning's run. It was a 7K interval run. I actually ended up running eight kilometers just because I finished my run pretty far back from my house. So I was like, I'll just run at a really slow pace another kilometer to get me a little bit closer. So I did 8K today. Earlier this week, I ran a nine kilometer run and then I've already had two resistance training sessions, two full body sessions. Tomorrow will be my last one. I will take you guys along on that workout. So stay tuned for that in this video. But that is an overview of my training and how I'm approaching my nutrition right now. I try to keep my foods pretty whole nutrient dense foods. I do enjoy fun foods, don't get me wrong. I don't know, we might see that in this video, we might not. But regardless, I do have 
foods that I crave. If I want a cookie, if I want brioche avocado toast, which is my current favorite, I will have it. And I just don't restrict myself from consuming anything that I do crave. I eat everything in moderation. To me, that is what feels the best for me. And I do prioritize, like I said, whole nutrient dense foods because that is genuinely what I crave most of the time. And it also makes me feel good. And I feel energized and fresh and light when I eat foods like that. So that's my current approach. Let's get into the rest of the day of eating. And then we'll also catch you tomorrow for my workout. Guys, I just got in a package from um, aloe yoga I ordered some headbands literally yesterday so they came in so fast but I wanted to get some headbands for running because I like sometimes to just have almost like a sweatband and also I guess I could wear these for spin I think so I got two different kinds let's see I'm really excited to catch them out I also I have a larger forehead so sometimes I like to wear like the headbands that all the girlies are wearing I just think they're cute so ugh, this one is so cute this one is like a white one like that and then it has a thinner band in the back which I like because sometimes if you wear the ones that are thicker it like bulges at the back in your hair which I hate. And then, let's see, also got a black one, very similar, ooh this one's like grippy on the inside, I don't know if you can see that but it has like little grips so that'll be nice, it'll stay in place and then you can either wear it like this way with this in the front or with this in the front. So cute little headband haul for running and spin and daily life. <laughs> We're back in the kitchen, it is lunch time and I've been loving poke bowls lately so I don't have any ahi tuna but I do have tuna in a can. So I'm going to show you guys how I make a makeshift at home poke bowl. We're gonna start by chopping up a little bit of cucumber and grating some carrot to put on top of the poke bowl. Top it with some veg. And I'll just kind of dice these up like this. Perfect, so that's enough cucumber. And then for the carrot, all I do is I just kind of grate little slices to put on top. Just add something different and some extra color. That is good for our toppings. And then this is just meal prepped rice that I microwaved and cooked it in like three minutes. So we're just gonna portion some of that into here. I kind of like a mixture of soy sauce and stir fry sauce, which I know sounds weird, but this pours really fast. So I'm just gonna try and do a little bit of that. Perfect. And then I'll top it afterwards with some of this stir fry sauce that I love. But now we gotta mix up the tuna. So this is just your classic can of tuna. I'm gonna mix it up with a little bit of avocado and some garlic, and then I'll top it on here. I didn't realize, but this tuna is actually in oil, so it's already like pretty creamy, I guess I would say. So I'm just going to throw some of that in there. Mix still a little bit of avocado and garlic in with that. Mix that up. And I'm also gonna put a touch of this stir fry sauce in there. Almost as like a marinade, I guess. Cause if you buy tuna from the store, it typically does have a glaze of some sort on it. But we've got our tuna with our sauce and avocado. All right, and now we're gonna throw this on top of the rice. And then we're gonna do some Cucumber, some carrots on this side, a little bit more avocado, this just on top. Lastly, I'm gonna eat this with some of these seaweed strips just to like roll it up and make it crunchy. So that is my poke. All right, we are back and I put the headband on so you guys can see it. I like it. It's like bringing me back to fifth grade when I used to wear a Lululemon headband to school every day, but I like it. Anyways, we are going to make a snack. I'm gonna make my classic cottage cheese rice cakes. If you've been here before, you may have seen these. Don't come for me, I'm a creature of habit. But these are seriously such a good high protein snack. You can mix up the flavors if you want to, but this is how I currently like it the best. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna start with our cottage cheese. I'm almost out of this one so we're probably gonna need a new container and I literally just eyeball this. I've made it so many times that I know approximately how much I'll need so I'll probably need about that much for this specific snack. And we're gonna put the tiniest little dash of protein just for flavor. This is just the pumpkin pie flavor from PE Science so I just put a little sprinkle in there. Next up a large dash of cinnamon and some stevia. 
and then we just stir it up until it's mixed. And then we take our rice cakes. I personally like the caramel ones. I think they're the Quaker brand, but you can literally use any flavor. I also like the apple cinnamon, super fire. So we're gonna put this on here, a little bit on the other one. And there we have our cottage cheese sweet caramel rice cakes. Tons of protein, super filling and delish. It's just after 5 p.m. and I am hungry. Any day that I run, I typically do notice that I'm hungrier, which makes sense because I've worked out more than, or I exerted my body a little bit more than usual. So I'm gonna make some dinner. I also did have a probiotic soda from Poppy. I, I mean, it's not really calories, but I just want to let you guys know I did indulge in that as well. And I have some ground beef that needs to be used up in my fridge today. So I'm probably gonna make tacos. I know, I know, I make them literally every other full day of eating, but it seriously is like one of the easiest meals and one of my favorite meals. So I think I'm gonna make that. And then tomorrow I wanna show you guys a pasta recipe that I've been making lately. So stay tuned for some mac and cheese, high protein pasta tomorrow. But today I wanna use up that ground beef. So we're gonna make some tacos. All right, I have my tacos all ready to go. These are just beef tacos with salsa, avocado and cheese. And then in here, I just have fajita veggies. We have spinach, peppers, onions, and mushrooms with some fajita seasoning. I'm gonna plate that up and that will be my dinner for today. I just made some dessert. This is a Ninja Creamy. It's cake pop flavored. And then I just put coconut flakes in there, mixed them in, and then topped it with more coconut. Like I said earlier, I'm on a major coconut kick. So super excited to eat this. And that will be my last meal up tonight. breakfast today an omelet with an avocado english muffin i have a resistance training workout today it's my third and final workout of the week in the gym so it'll be a full body session i'm going to take you guys along through that workout today but first we gotta eat All right, this workout started with some sumo deadlifts and I'm currently in an isometric focused block, which means I'm holding each movement in the stretch position for three to five seconds. It was brutal, but we got through it. So as you can see, I pull and I hold about an inch or two off the ground where my glutes are in a very stretched position. And then I shoot my hips forward to finish off that contraction. And then I reset and go again. So I did four sets of six sumo deadlifts with that hold. The second exercise of this workout was a deficit Smith machine reverse lunge with a five second hold at the bottom where the glute is in its stretch position. Same sets and reps as that first exercise. So I did four sets of six each leg. These are so hard, you guys. I'm like laughing because I'm in so much pain, but in a good way. The stretch is a crucial, crucial part of growth and we want to make sure we're overloading the stretch. So each week I do try and add an extra two and a half to five pounds on the bar if I can. Then for some medial glute activation, I went into some lateral landmine lunges. I am still working on these. My mobility could be better in my groin, so it is a bit hard for me to get super low in these, but nonetheless, I do really feel it in my glutes. Still doing my best to pause at the bottom here for three to five seconds, exploding up, and I did four sets of eight each leg. And I superset those with lateral raises with the hold at the bottom. So three to five second hold at the bottom where the shoulders are in their stretch position. And then we explode up into that lateral raise position. So again, four sets of eight because I supersetted them with the lateral lunges. And we finished off with some core. I did cable crunches, four sets of eight, supersetted with hanging leg raises, which I forgot to film, but you gotta trust me, I did them and my core was on fire. All right, back from the gym. I just made the exact same protein shake that I made yesterday, so I didn't record it for redundancy purposes. I had a really good workout. I filmed everything, so you guys should have already seen all those clips. That was my last resistance training session of the week. I do have a spin class that I'm doing tomorrow, but my next run is Tuesday 
and my next workout is Monday and today is Friday. Okay, so we are headed to a coffee shop to do some work, but I wanted to bring some lunch with me. So this is just rice and some of that ground beef that I already had prepped. And then I just air fried some asparagus to throw on top. So that is gonna be my simple meal to bring with to the coffee shop. Doesn't have to be complicated. It's nothing fancy, but it's my protein, some fats, and some carbs. All right, we just got back from the coffee shop. I ate my lunch while I was there, and now I just made the same snack that I had yesterday, which is my cottage cheese rice cakes. Again, I'm a creature of habit, but it's so good. High protein, perfect snack for the middle of the day. So I'm gonna go eat this, and then we'll be back for dinner. All right, it is time to make dinner. I have some water boiling in here because we're gonna make some pasta. Here, I'm just gonna do some mushrooms and onions just because I feel like I haven't had that many micronutrients today. So just a little bit of veg in there. And then this is the pasta I'm gonna be making. It's the chickpea pasta, so it's high protein pasta. And I like the shells personally. I just like them for the mac and cheese recipe that I'm gonna show you guys. So let's get into the mac and cheese sauce. Okay, so for the sauce, we're actually gonna be making it in a blender and I honestly just eyeball this, so do your best to kind of guesstimate. I would say this is probably like half a cup of cottage cheese and then we're gonna do a handful, probably like a quarter cup of this fat-free cheese. Splash of almond milk. We're gonna throw in some nutritional yeast for that cheesy flavor and some garlic. And then we're gonna blend it up and it'll make a cheese sauce. After this first kind of spin, if you will, or the first blend, I just kind of go in and taste it. And then I just add whatever I feel like is missing. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit more garlic, and I added like another two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And then we'll re-blend. Now normally if I just wanted the cheese sauce, you could just heat up this plain cheese sauce, but I'm gonna mix it in with the vegetables and you can see how thick it is. It's so good. And a lot more high protein than a traditional cheese sauce would be. So we're just gonna get this a little bit heated up. All right, so pasta is drained and now we're just going to top it with our cheese sauce. It looks a little weird because it's mixed with the veggies, but I promise you guys it tastes so good and it's so high protein. I probably will mix some spinach in with this next time, but there is our high protein mac and cheese with some mushrooms and onions. I cannot wait to eat this. Okay, it is time for my nightly dessert and I've just been on a Ninja creamy kick for the last little bit, so we're gonna make this one. It is, I believe, just peanut butter cup from PE Science with almond milk and some stevia. And I always mix mine on the regular ice cream setting, if you were ever wondering. Okay, so we've spun it and now I'm gonna put in some coconut in the middle and then spread this on top. And then we'll re-spin this on the mix-in setting. We're gonna put more coconut in here because I'm currently on a major coconut kick and we're trying to get our healthy That's it, okay? So I'm just gonna like dig holes in the side and then squish that coconut in there. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we'll hope that it does. Some on that side. And then I'm gonna top it with some honey. Oh, it's gonna be so good. And that is my finished creamy for the night. Looks delicious. It is now the next day. That was the conclusion of my video. We did two full days of eating, two full days of training. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're not already, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.